Vicky here with you and today I'm here to do the 30 inks 30 days and the ink of choice is Sailor Shikiori and the reason why I chose this ink is because I'm putting it into this pen so I'd seen um, Amanda share the the her Wicked Witch of the West because that's what it is this is a 1911 S um, it's a limited edition and I was looking at them for a while and um, I, I was getting close to uh, making a purchase but I found one on eBay and I got it for much cheaper than what I would have paid um, had I bought it and the one I was looking at was not even new it was well it was a second like it had come back um, so I was super pleased with my purchase and I haven't had a chance to play with it yet but it has a zoom nib so I'm very I'm very I'm really really pleased um, I just hope that it's gonna write well and I'm gonna be as pleased with it as just looking at it because I haven't played with it I got it um, this summer and I knew I was going to do this, so I knew I had, I like, I forced myself to wait um, and to create this uh, expectation and, and wanting of the purple inks. So um, they do, from from what I I saw um, in the little booklet and um, what I think I, I heard Menda say as well is they recommend that because of the special finish of the nib because it's it's black um, they recommend that you put um, you put sailor ink in them uh, so that's why I really wanted to find a sailor ink that was gonna fit with it and when I saw this one it was on sale at um, Shigori, Shigori, something like that. Um, I, I butchered that name, but anyway, um, for people that that do uh, like fountain pens, for sure you know them already. And um, it was on sale, and I, I was ordering already the um, the the very weird uh, the the what was it called? What's the brand? already did it. It was very weird. The Oh my god, I'm missing it. I'm looking at my sheet of which ink I've done so far. It's the one that was um that was purple. Oh, Kala. And they were the only ones that carried that ink as far as I saw. So uh, when I was there I checked their other sale items and they had this ink and since I needed a dark purple I thought why not this sound this looks like it's a, a really nice one and I, I believe it's gonna look really close to the color of my pen so oh it smells yeah smells like um, it smells like markers not a bad smell but a very strong smell when you're spraying it I didn't f smell it when I was filling up the pen but uh, so we shall see if we can see the sheen because right now on this card you can see that there's sheen but I don't know in in um, how it's going to show up on the sprays so we will see that should be interesting and like I said I've been I've been dying to try my pen okay like check that everything was okay with it but I didn't play with it yet so it's gonna be nice to do so I feel that without because this is not the oversized one and I feel that without the, the top, 
it feels like it's it's not heavy enough. I'm used to heavier pens, I guess. So this is Sailor. She, he, Ori, we're the twenty-seven, and I'm using my Sailor. 1911s Wicked. I love, 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 love Oz. I just like The Wizard of Oz was was one of my favorite favorite uh, movies as I was a kid. Um, it was one that whenever it would go on um, on TV, I would watch it. So I went to see Wicked, um, the musical and just in general love it so when I heard that this pen existed I was like I need that pen in my life um, so it took a while because sailor pens are expensive and initially I wasn't into like I had never purchased more expensive pens I've done so recently but uh, I do try to find good deals. And this was an amazing deal, having that nib on top of it. Because usually when you have those nibs, the, the music nib or the zoom, the zoom nib, it costs more to purchase a pen. And it's a big enough nib that, well, you can see shading, that's for sure. Like you can see it here. And, uh, but I'm not sure that you can see the sheen though. One more phrase. It's one that's not gonna, the ink is not gonna last very long because it's such a, such a big nib and um, I didn't fill it completely, but as I said, I'm trying to not overfill my pens because it's the end of the month is coming and I don't want to be playing with purple inks forever and a day, but this is the perfect pen for October with Halloween and everything. So here is the writing. You can see like there's, there's shading, like the in the uh, the letters, hopefully the the camera will pick it up, but I'm not seeing the sheen now. So no sheen on on this. Now this is super dark. You can see it's purple, but oh boy, is it ever dark. That's probably one of the darkest that I've had uh, this month. I don't even know. Like I had ebony purple. How was that one? Because ebony purple was really dark as well. Yeah, see. But there was a lot more of other. I could. Yeah. Whereas this one is really, really. Yeah. Very, very dark and. and you don't see a lot of pink in it. Okay, so 
and let's look at the splotches. Oh, with the splotches, you can see the sheen, which is awesome. Check that out. And in the uh, the painty part as well, you can see it. So it's a very, very pretty dark, dark, dark ink. I think it really fits with my pen. I'm looking forward to knowing what you think about it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow for another 30 inks, 30 days. Love you. Bye.